So a common need in WordPress is that you've got a post or a page that you want to have a copy of. Um, you can do this, you can duplicate it via manual copying and pasting of the post title and the post content, or you can just install a plugin. There are a lot, lot, lot of plugins that'll do this. Uh, the one I often pick is called Duplicate Post. Um, it's pretty fully featured. My only complaint about it is that it doesn't work for content types other than posts and pages. So on, you see on WP Shop, we've got courses and quick guides and links. Duplicate post won't work for those, but it will work for the built-in posts and pages that most people use in WordPress. So if I've got this template page and I want to duplicate it, I can come back once I've installed and activated the plugin, which I have. Duplicate post is installed and activated. I can go in here and I can find this template page I had. And we'll see that in addition to the normal edit, quick edit, trash, and preview links, I now have a clone in a new draft. What's nice about clone is it'll take most of the status of that thing, so it'll keep the, po the draft status. It'll also copy over the content. What's even cooler is that if I've got a published page that I want to do, say I've got this Welcome to WP Shout page, if I hit the new draft button, what it'll do is it'll duplicate that page, but it'll put the new one into draft mode for me, and it'll even take me right to the screen. So this is our welcome page, and I've just got a new draft that is all set up and ready to go. So I can now continue editing this draft, maybe replace the old page or maybe not, but I'm all set to go thanks to, thanks to the duplicate post plugin. It does have some pretty cool, some pretty useful settings. Again, the biggest thing I wish it had were the ability to work with content types beyond posts and pages, but with four posts and pages, it's very fully featured. You can set whether or not you want it to copy the date and the status in addition to slug excerpt and content title, which is its very same defaults. It'll also give you the option about whether or not you want to copy passwords. And also you can exclude taxonomy links. So if it was a categorized post, you can exclude or include whether or not it will copy that. So pretty fully featured plugin, really easy to use and great for that use case where you want to duplicate a piece of content that you have on your WordPress site. Hope that's helpful.